Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to do something a little bit fun. I'm going to be teaching you how to create a beautiful sounding improvisation. So I'm gonna play something totally random using randomly selected, random-ishly selected chords. And I'm gonna start with only two chords. So what I've done is I've picked a key already. I've picked the key of G. So I've written down on my little sticky notes the diatonic chords of the key of G. So this is the one, this is the G. I'm gonna fold it so you know I'm actually doing it. That's a major chord. The next one up from there is a two, is A minor. Folding it, putting the cup. The next one up from there is B minor. So you could be writing these down if you want your own ingredients for creating an improv. Next one is C, that's the four. And then we've got D is the five. And then E minor, is the six, and the seven is a crunchy one, so I'm not putting it in there, and then the eight is G again. So literally, I'm gonna mix these up, this is completely random, and I'm gonna pick two of them out, and then I'm gonna make a beautiful improvisation using just two chords. Okay, I'm really, I swear I'm not looking. Okay, here's my first one. I've got two, i do this. Okay, got D. <laughs> what else is this gonna give me? I'm a little worried. And G, okay, so I'm gonna start with that. It's gonna be pretty, pretty chill. So I've got two chords. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I wanna show you that you can really create something out of anything when it comes to the piano. So first things first, I've got a D. So I'm gonna just start playing D with my left hand. I'm just picking kind of a tempo. And then I'm gonna play D with my right hand. And the first thing I wanna do is finding that that D and the A are sounding really pretty. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. Okay, so the next thing I've got is G, so I'm gonna move my pattern to G. I'm gonna pick the same little whatever I had going on there, but I'm not finding it super interesting. So I'm gonna head back to the D. B minor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pattern that I had before and I'm going to see if it sounds good over that B minor. And there's our G. Moving through them quickly just so we can get to the fun stuff. Here's our B minor. Ah, it does! So from there, the sky's the limit. I'm going to try playing up higher. I picked the diatonic chords of a scale or a key of my choosing. I put them on sticky notes and I randomly selected two and then a third. And then I just, I, I went with what felt good. I found a rhythm that kind of matched my mood. And then I started with just the root tone and I creatively built out from there. Now the secret, the not so secret secret is I could have played any notes of the key that I was kind of playing in, which is the G scale, and they would have sounded good. In this case, I picked the three chord tones that belonged to my my very first chord. And they worked beautifully over all of the choices that I had for my chords. So I hope that this inspires you a little bit. So you can take exactly what I've shown here and make it your own. 
kind of edit it a little bit or you could pick your own key write down the chord names pick your own chords out at random and see what you come up with so comment below let me know what you think and most of all have fun